let us now apply the two rules we have learned in naming some of those organic uh, alkenes and alkynes for practice. Have a look at the first compound. The same structures are written on the side. There are four such structures. If you look at this, in order to arrive at the parent hydrocarbon, let us say we number from right to left. So the carbon atoms are numbered accordingly. The double bond has the least number. It's an alkene, so it has the suffix "-ene". One refers to the double bond, the first carbon atom. It is a carbon skeleton with five carbon atoms, and therefore it's a pent one e. There is, however, a methyl group attached on the third carbon atom, and therefore this was named as three methyl pent one e. Alternatively, we could number it the way I have shown here, numbering the carbon atoms from left to right. If we do this then the carbon atom 4 is the one which carries the double bond and therefore it becomes 4 in a pent 4 in the position of the methyl group remains the same 3 methyl pent 4 in however this is the wrong name because the the alkene has a higher number which is against the lowest number root and therefore this is wrong and this would be right. So we'll go to the second one for practice. The numbering has been done from left to right. It's a four carbon atom chain with a double bond of the second carbon and therefore this becomes a but 2 in with a methyl group attached to the second carbon atom which makes it a 2 methyl but 2 in. We look at the other way of naming it, we number it from right to left, then this would be a but 2 in and a 3 methyl. The numbering again disobeys the lowest number rule and therefore this structure would be incorrect. This is right. Similarly, we could study and inspect the third example, the same form of numbering. This would be a pent 2 in. 3 methyl attached there, and in that case, it would be a 3 methyl position for that pent if the numbering is done from right to left, and therefore, again, this would become incorrect. The fourth example, whether we number it from the right to left, the carbon atom chain, or right to left here, or left to right here, since it is a symmetrical compound, the name doesn't change and therefore both the numbering systems are correct. 